train by day, Joe Rogan podcast by night, all day. Just understandable. I mean, they're gonna they spent four billion on the UFC. They're gonna want to run it their way. I get that. It's incredible investment. I don't know how the fuck they're gonna make that money back. You're a, you're a smart financial guy. How the hell do they make that money back? They won't. Whoa, mm. Jesus, Dan Pena. Why did you do that? <laughs> it's, not, it's not likely. No? Uh, the way I would do it is uh, I would take it public. Oh, is that how I you mean, make it's a your no money brainer. back? Uh, you heard it here first on mm. Joe's show. Take it public. And, and if they, they take it they, public? They, 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 they can make 50% on their money in a week. I, I mean... A week after they take it public because the, uh, the average investor pays up too much. They pay up high multiples. And the difference between a, a non-liquid uh, investment and a liquid investment, the multiples are normally 50 to 100% higher. You just so, lost me talking okay, Chinese. Okay. If he's, if, 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 let's just say they bought it at uh, 20 times earnings. Okay. Okay. Four billion equated to twenty times earnings. Right. So okay. that means twenty times per annual earnings. Yeah, yeah, okay. that's correct. So uh, they take it public, and the investment public, the schmucks that buy stocks on the New York Stock Exchange, will give you forty times. They will. Yes. Huh? Why don't they do that then? Well, what's the problem with taking things public? Well, they lose control. Ah. Uh, and they, it depends on how much of the how much of the stock are they going to sell? Right. Are they going to sell ten percent? They're certainly not going to sell 50.1% because then they lose total control. Right. right. But then they also uh, have to adhere to the SEC, Security Exchange Commission. Mm. There's rules. Uh, and they have to have uh, audited statements every, uh, every 90 days. And if, there's a, if, if, if they gave you too much money uh, f uh, for expenses and it's down there as a footnote, they're going to come. They come and investigate. Why'd you give mm. Rogan that? Why'd you do right. that? Oh, and, and most people don't want to go public because of that. I went public because I could see that I, I was going to make uh, a thousand times my money. I mean, or not even a hundred thousand times my money. So it was a no brainer. You made, I, you made a hundred thousand times your money by going public? Well, well, it's actually better than that. Um, the uh, I grew, Jamie, we need to take this podcast public. I, I, okay, I grew at sixty-seven thousand percent a year. What the fuck does years. that even mean? How is that even possible? 60, sixty-seven. My total growth on my original investment was fifty-five million percent. Jesus Christ, that's a lot of money. Dan and Pena. there hasn't been Facebook nor anybody else, anybody even close. For, but unfortunately for me. Because it was 25 years ago, I was at a low base. My base was only half a million, or five. Yeah, uh, f excuse me, 500 million. And uh, but now, I mean, uh, what does that mean by your base? In other words, what I grew the company from 800 bucks right to f 500 million. Right. Okay. So, but my base, my initial base was eight. Uh, call it a thousand bucks. Okay. Okay. And my exit base was 500 million. Okay. 500 million dollars. And, uh, of course, I had a lot of shareholders. It wasn't just me. Uh, but now uh, the, um, the company grew. If you take 800 bucks and you figure out the uh, – you do a spreadsheet on uh, the growth per year, it's 67,000%. And if you do the total growth, it's 55 million percent. 55 million percent. Now, if you were – you're an MMA fan. And if yes, you were going to give advice to the people that own the it's UFC, true, what yeah. would you tell them? Oh yeah, Alpha Brain. Alpha. <laughs> what would you What would you give them? What I'd advice say, would you I, say? I, I'd hire somebody like Goldman Sachs. Uh, I'd, I'd hire more than one. I'd say Goldman Sachs and J.P. Morgan or somebody like that, or Credit Suisse to to look at uh, how to make their investment liquid. Liquid, because now it's frozen like uh, a stiff dick. I mean, it's not going anyplace. <laughs> so no. what does that mean? Like, how do you make it liquid? Liquid. Okay. If let's just say we're going to take this podcast public. Okay, let's, let's okay. do it. Let's get okay. crazy. Okay, let's get crazy. Now let's just say that the um, right now uh, uh, you make uh, let's do, throw out numbers a million dollars a year off your podcast, uh, and um, you have no other shareholders. Okay, just okay. You. Okay. Now you want to take it public, and you want to take it public on one of the secondary or tertiary exchanges because uh, this isn't wouldn't be big enough to take on the New York Stock Exchange, and um, you want to sell shares in your baby uh, for a thousand dollars a share. Okay. How many shares does one have? Well, you as many as you want. If you want. Really? Yeah. So you can make a hundred million shares at a thousand dollars a share. Yeah, but you you couldn't you couldn't equate that much value but you could do a thousand shares at a thousand uh, as a thousand dollars a share okay okay and so you sell 20 percent off to the public so 20 percent of those shares are and i mean you got millions of people to follow you i mean that would be a, a, a slam dunk i mean it would be a no-brainer
It'd be a no-brainer. But then a bunch of people would be telling me to who to well, get no, as, long, as no, guests. As long, no, as long as you got to keep control, uh, fuck keep you. Control. you know? They would try to get that power, though. Oh, yeah, well, they would. And uh, But as long as you held, or your group, or your consortium, or you and your uh, uh, your buddies held more than 50%, they could never take control. Right. But it seems like that's that's where hostile takeovers come Correct. from, right? Correct. Yeah, people gather oh. up. Yeah, yeah oh, well, you're excited there. Yeah, I'm getting excited myself just thinking about it. Yeah. Hostile takeovers. That's, yeah, your, yeah. that's like the, the ultimate Then you can just say, move. okay, well, we'll, we'll meet in the cage. You, you can put your best guy up, I'll put my best guy, and then we'll settle it that way. Just like they do in the old days. Mm. You know, instead of the two armies going to war, the best knight from this guy and the best knight from this guy. Right. They and, duke it and, out. And then you, who would you pick to defend, to defend your honor? My honor? Yeah, in the cage. I mean, if, you get, if the other side had a guy, who would you pick? It's a good question. Are we doing weight classes? No, no. A- anything goes. This is a heavyweight named Francis Ngannou. I think I might put my money on that guy. Yeah? Terrifying. Young heavyweight. Okay. Yeah. Okay, who Knocks would they people pick? people dead. Who cares? Let them pick oh, no, whoever okay. the fuck they want. <laughs> <laughs>